At present, the development of the Earth civilization is experiencing an interesting time period when geopolitical, social and environmental problems are becoming extremely urgent. The Earth is so fragile that it cannot stand technogenic pressing, and much is contributed by the construction materials industry as it makes 10% of the power consumed, 12% of the employed staff and also emissions. Here are the environmental problems involved. Production technology of construction materials includes raw materials extraction, its transportation, dosing, specific treatment which involves destruction of the rock structure, crystal lattice, synthesis of new formations and others. We regard construction materials, their production, operation, destruction and reuse as a constant motion as an element of inorganic world evolution. Motion, component interaction, changes take place everywhere, even a single concrete wall. Everywhere where the motion takes place, it requires control. The science of control is known as cybernetics. Its author is an American mathematician, Norbert Wiener, and it dates back to 1948. One of the fields of cybernetics is bionics, which deals with the study of inorganic world objects with the results to be used for developing new materials and technologies. For instance, the results of studying dolphins and fish are used in the design of submarines, nuclear submarines, marine vessels and others. Results of studying birds, butterflies, mosquitoes are used in the design of flying vehicles. I propose one of the branches of cybernetics, geonics. Particularly, geonics may use the results of geological processes to produce materials. Based on the above concept, we proposed classification of raw materials depending on the free inner energy. This inner energy is determined by the crystal lattice, inclusion of mineral formation media, gas and air phases, which were formed millions or billions years ago. The use of this hidden energy enables us to reduce the power consumption during construction materials production. This branch allowed my scientific school to achieve certain valuable results. Almost 67 PhD theses have been written and defended in this field. We are studying non-traditional raw materials which do not traditionally find large-scale use in building materials production but which are found in the earth crust in preserved condition and which are expected to become a raw material base of the leading countries of the world. We have tested this concept on different rock with a new rock classification, including rocks not found in the Russian Federation. We use resources of Latin America, South Africa, Europe, particular Sicily. I took the samples from Etna Volcano myself and many regions of Russia, Kursk Magnetic Anomaly, Buryatia, Yakutia, Kolsk Peninsula. Currently we are working on the raw materials resources in Cambodia and Middle East. We made tests in Tunis and Yemen. The above set testifies to the fact that the wide range of samples make them representative. As a member of the group of Russian Academy of Science, I studied mineral resources in Kamchatka. We selected samples and now we are studying them in our conditions. We have developed a range of composite binders. On their basis, we obtained fine-grained concretes, fiber concretes used to make a wide spectrum of construction materials, road building materials, wall panels. In general, speaking of the main goal of geonics, I formulated it as follows. Development of the principles of control of the object of inorganic world to identify their influence upon vital function processes of the representatives of flora and fauna. On the first stage, we have been involved with the application of the results to produce building materials. In geonics, I regard the concept a human being material habitat as a comprehensive whole. And I consider it the major goal of all world scientists is to ensure comfortable living of people in this environment. If we calculate how much people who are homo sapiens species reasonable, as we call ourselves, spend on destruction, that is on armament, the amount will make thousands times higher compared to the amount 
spent on supporting the system of a human being, material, habited, that is, on human development and prosperity. And the ideas set forth in geonics bring them to the political level. And now I appeal to the state leaders and to the United Nations organization. I took part in a press conference in the USA where I stated that if at least 5% out of the total amount allocated on the armament was spent on human prosperity, that is, a human being material habitat system, it would entirely alter the people's lifestyle throughout the planet. The above ideas showed us to implement the principles of construction material science. We implemented them at our Department of Construction Materials, Products and Structures. We opened the section of nano systems in construction material science, formulated basic principles of its activity. This represents an interdisciplinary area of research. The scientists of the whole world tend to interdisciplinary approach. It is known that changes have a sinusoid character. In a primitive society, one single person was taught by another person. Later, the disintegration of science and separation of physics, mathematics and chemistry from philosophy required teaching particular subjects. Now we are lecturing on over 50 subjects to our students to make them able to become engineers. And it is hardly practicable. The process of integration started in science. The 20th century gave start to such sciences as biochemistry, geophysics and other disciplines. And some steps have been taken in the academic process. Some 30 years ago I published a paper concerning interdisciplinary learning. The lecturers should create an integrated interdisciplinary complex out of particular subjects and this is the form to be presented to the students. And the same refers to geonics. In contrast to biophysics and biochemistry, geonics is not limited by just two sciences. Like bionics, it comprises over ten branches. There are sciences that go together, cybernetics and bionics, American school and geonics, Russian scientific school. All of them are highly interdisciplinary in character. The year of 1960 is regarded as an official date when bionics appeared in the USA after cybernetics. As to geonics, the first ideas came to me in 1993-1944. As to geonics, the first ideas came to me in 1993-1994. I started to work at basic concepts of geonics. It did not mean I had to give up all the rest research I had. It was like a hobby first and later grew into a single integrated system. But on this stage, it was not initiated by myself. It was by the initiative and request of Russian Academy of Architecture and Construction and Russian Academy of Science. I was requested to report on immediate results of my research. I reported on the elements of the theory in Weimar, Germany, at the University of Architecture and Construction. And this September I am going to present a report there again on the same branch. We have a written conclusion made by French scientists from the town of Alice where they offer their assistance in developing this branch of science. The Russian Academy of Science also proposes joint work as geonics is the object of research they are directly involved in. All scientists who listen to the report admitted that this branch has the right to exist, as it is objective reality. For instance, such branches as cybernetics and architectural bionics are developing, though not that rapidly. I am convinced that the future of geonics is promising too. I have recently made a report in a well-known scientific center in the town of Chernogolovka, near Moscow. After my report, an outstanding scientist in the field of artificial diamonds came up to me presented his book and said that cultivation of artificial diamonds is based on the study of geological process and this is also geonics. I absolutely agree with this point of view. We get knowledge from geological research processes and this is geonics. Geonics is the system of use and the process which take place in nature and they are used to increase efficiency of production of building materials. This is the first stage. And the second stage is the system of a human being material habitat. I offered to organize a roundtable discussion with the participation of three department heads of medical universities in Moscow. During the discussion I expressed my point of view. Let us assume 
if a person is surrounded by reinforced concrete structures. If we take twins, one of them placed into a house made of reinforced concrete and the other one into a wooden house, the latter will live at least 25 years longer than his twin brother. Gypsum concrete is also more favorable material for people. If we imagine a hospital room intended for treatment lung diseases, we need particular types of construction materials and the room for patients suffering for cardiovascular diseases requires entirely different types of materials. Pine trees are good for rehabilitation of people with low blood pressure. Broadleaf trees are favorable for patients with high blood pressure. Thus, geonics allows to forecast such serious processes, especially the processes within the system of a human being material habitat. And this is what I can tell you in brief.